Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy, and we're continuing with devotions on the deck this week. And we're in Matthew chapter 4, and we've talked about Jesus as he's walking down the, the coast, and he sees two guys, Simon, who's known as Peter, and Andrew, and he calls to them, and they follow him. And then as soon as that happens, in verse 21, we're going to continue our story. It says, a little farther up the shore, he, that's Jesus, saw two brothers, James and John. So he's already seen two other brothers, Peter and Andrew, and he called to them and they followed him. They left their jobs and they followed Jesus. And now he sees two other brothers, James and John. And what happens here? They're sitting in a boat with their father Zebedee repairing their nets, so they're fishermen as well. And he, that's Jesus, called to them too. They immediately followed him, leaving the boat and their father behind. I know yesterday we talked about sometimes God can call us to walk away from our job to follow him or whatever it is, whether it's full-time ministry or maybe it's just serving him in the, the job that we have because all of us are full-time Christians. That means whoever pays our paycheck, whether it's a, a church, whether it's a bank, whether it's the UPS, whether it's the postal service, whether it's uh, the power company, whoever pays our check, it doesn't matter. We're still full-time Christians. Now here, we've got something a little bit different. Now we see James and John, who are fishermen as well, earning their living the same way Peter and Andrew did. But now we see these two guys sitting with their dad in this family business, mending their nets. They've just finished fishing. They're, they're there putting everything away. And Jesus walks up and says, follow me. And what did they do? It says they immediately followed him, leaving the boat and their father behind. That's tough. You know, when I, I served in Kentucky for quite a long time with my dad, and when God called me to take the next step and to walk away from there to, to go further and to pastor, so I needed to go someplace that he was calling me to go, that was tough, walking away from my family, leaving my family. That was hard. We've been there for a long time. And then we ended up in Rhode Island with my wife's family, and we're serving at a large ministry there. And, and then when God called us here to Kansas City, we had to pack a U-Haul up and follow God across the country to a place we didn't know, to people we didn't know. Kind of feels a little bit like the story of Abraham and Sarah uh, going without knowing. You know, just follow me and I'll tell you where you're going. At least we knew where we were going to end up here in Kansas City, but four days of driving in a U-Haul took, it, it, I was starting to wonder if we were ever going to get here. <laughs> but here we've got these two men walking away from not just their livelihood, but walking away from their family. Now, they weren't walking away in a bad way of, well, we're not going to serve, we're not going to work with dad anymore, we hate him, we're turning our back on him. No, 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 no. This was, God was calling them to follow him, to take the next step to go to full-time ministry. And that meant walking away from the family business. But their love for God was so much that they knew it was the right thing to do. And what did they do? They obeyed immediately. I asked you the question yesterday about what is it that God is calling you to do? And I kind of want to hit that a little bit again today. Is God calling you to take the next step? Is God calling you to go a little bit further in what you're doing for him? Whether that's in sharing your faith, whether that's serving him in church, maybe it is full-time ministry. Maybe God's calling you to go to another country and to, to reach people for him as a missionary. I don't know. Maybe he's calling you to step up a little bit more and to give. I love the story of a pastor in California. I've, I've read a lot about him, but he decided that he was going to, and this is a younger guy, he, he decided when he first took this church that he was going to start tithing at 10% there at the church. And then every year he was there, he upped at 1%. So every year he's gone from 10 to 11 to 12 to 13 to 14, 15, 16, all the way up. And now he's that percentage is quite high. <laughs> But God called him to do that and he obeyed and God blessed him for it because his heart, God had given him that gift of being a giver. That's his, one of his talents. Has God given you that gift? What is it that God has gifted you with? Are you using it for him? And is he asking you to take it to the next level? Is he asking you to go a little further and to do more for him? Be willing to walk away from everything to serve him. He may not want you to do it. He may not have you do it, but maybe he just wants to see if you're willing to do it. So if God called you to do something, would you be willing to do it? And if you'll tell him, God, no matter what the question is, the answer is yes, I guarantee you he's going to tell you what the question is. 
It may be something big, it may be something small, but we have to be willing to serve him with open hands. God, everything I have is yours, including my life. Anything you want, the answer is yes. I encourage you to get into God's word, read it, make that decision that you'll do whatever he calls you to do. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.